the news is say, saying it wasn't a South Park episode on this one. Uh, saying a red cow was born in Israel, fulfilling key end times prophecy for Jews. So, the summary that my team, the Atheist Republic team, has provided for me here. If you guys know more details, feel free to comment. I'll read your comments on it. Uh, by the way, the live chat is what makes the this Atheist Republic news complete because you guys have a lot of information from all around the world, which is fucking great. Anyways, in Israel, a red cow was born. Okay. Isn't aren't red cows, are they really that rare for this to be newsworthy? According to uh, Jewish people, the birth of a red cow or a red heifer, 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 would fulfill the end times prophecy. Another one, I guess. And it brings the promises of reinstating biblical purity to the world for the Messiah to come and the final judgment the red, the red here must be sacrificed. Oh, okay. For now, for now, the temple of Israel is examining the cow if it has the qualifications necessary for the red he fear. I think it would be in their best interest to just say like, no, this is not the right cow because it's going to be. They probably know this is all bullshit. I mean, at least half of them should know, and they I think they should cover their asses by just saying, yep, nope, not the right cow. Uh, not good enough. Um, well, I thought I thought this is going to be kind of like a Hindu thing where they're going to be like, this is holy cow, so we shouldn't, you know, kill it or anything. But no, apparently the sacrifice part is an essential part of making this happen. So wait, so when Jesus came and he said, I am the Messiah, what, how, did any Jews complain? Oh, like, where's the, where's the red cow? Like, you can't be the Messiah because we need the red cow for you to be the Messiah. Let me see what people are saying. Actually, make this smaller. So I can see your the live chat while reading this at the same time. Because I remember last one time this microphone, the, uh, the cord got disconnected. And I was reading the news and everybody in the live chat was like, I can't hear anything. And I just kept on reading, but nobody could hear me. But the, everybody tried to tell me. And I wasn't noticing it. So it's, it's good to have the live chat on the corner at all times. Um, okay, nobody's tag. Oh, Atheist Re Moose Gal is tagging Atheist Republic, which is always helpful. That way I can tell. Uh, Moose Gal, I thought you stream on Saturday or Sundays. Okay, I covered this. And f the, m I mentioned that it's usually on Saturdays. There's a Facebook event uh, on Atheist Republic that if there is a change, you if your market's going to that event, if there's ever a change, you get notified there. And this Saturday, I can't do a show because I'm going to Montreal for uh, help run the Steven Pinker and Michael Shermer event. Uh, so this Saturday, I'm not available. That's why I'm doing it on a Friday because I didn't want to miss a week of talking to you guys. Uh, so I, I s switched it to Friday. But yeah, if you if you uh, if you go to Atheist Republic. Facebook page, go to the event section and find the Atheist News uh, weekly event. If you just mark as going to that, if, if I ever change it to a Friday or Monday or whatever, then you get notified. All right, so no, uh, nothing about the news here. Let me see if anybody on the Facebook chat has anything about the news. Hello. Okay, guys, by the way, in, uh, in Atheist... Republic's Facebook chat. If you guys want me to read any comments, make sure you tag Atheist Republic. In fact, because there's too many comments for me to check. So if, you, if you're if you talking among yourself, I'm not going to be able to notice it. So I'm just going to search for Atheist Republic. If you tag Atheist Republic, I'll read it, okay? Because there's too many comments. Most of the comments are... I wish I could go through, the, through them because a lot of them are from Atheists saying, Hey, I'm an Atheist from... India or from Cebu, uh, Philippines or and it's, or Malaysia. Hey, from Malaysia. So I wish I could read all of that because it's so great to see that we have such an international community. But uh, we would be here forever. If I, but don't. But keep saying that because at least everybody else in the live chat you see the Facebook live chat. That by the way, only the YouTube show, live chat shows on the screen. I'll figure out at some point how to make both of them show on the screen. Let's see. Um, Moose Gal is saying, Aren't cows sacred in Islam? 
Uh, no, uh, no, they're just delicious in Islam, I guess. Like, but I mean, depends on. Well, I mean, you can say no because they don't think anything is <coughs> sacred or anything is divine. Uh, but at the same time, you might hear Muslims say this: "Well, every gift from God is sacred." Um, you know, it's so not in a sense of that. No, cows are not special in any way in Islam. But if anybody wants to make them sound special, they would just mention that, well, it's a gift from God for us to be able to get nourished and stuff like that. So, But that would be the same as water or ice cream and everything else. Um, so, no. So, let me read the top comments on Facebook with the Facebook post here that we made. Uh, let's see, the top comment is by Travis. is saying, them trying to engineer the birth of a red cattle is the literal definition of self-fulfilling prophecy. Um, well, no, I mean, it has to, if, the, if Messiah doesn't show up and he doesn't give the Jews their power back, then it doesn't fulfill the prophecy. Like, it's going to be, like, it's going to be, one of those embarrassing end time prophecies if they say yep this is the right cow but then nothing happens like if jesus like what well, if they don't call it jesus but if their messiah doesn't show up and say like hey we're gonna give the jews their land back and they're gonna be powerful and they're gonna be ruling and by the way to be to be quite a lot of the jews think like all non-jews well not a lot of them but many many oh, well many means a lot well a significant number but not a majority of Jews, Orthodox, traditional, conservative Jews, believe that once the end time comes, all of us non-Jews, which are not technically human, we're subhuman, we are going to be slaves to the Jews. That's what's going to happen at the end times, which is like a Jewish supremacy kind of ideology. Uh, yeah, go check it out, it's pretty insane. Let's see, the second top comment is by Mary. By the way, look, Facebook is trying to trick me. This has 53 reactions. This has 84, but it's putting the 53 one above. If Facebook thinks that it knows better than me what I want to read. Like, no, I don't know. Why is this at the top? Oh, maybe because I got six replies. Okay, maybe. Anyways, I'm going to read Mary's comment first. Uh, genetically modified cows are not a miracle. Wait, was this genetically modified? Uh, that's called science, the irony that they are res resorting to science to get themselves a biblical red cow is pretty funny. Oh, what the hell? Is that is that what's happening? It's pretty funny if you think about it. Was this a genetically modified cow? Is that because that is funny if they just made a red cow? <laughs> they didn't just paint a cow. That was cheaper. Let me actually look, look it up if this is genetically modified. Oh my god, it is genetically modified. Engineered. Uh, there doesn't seem to be... In oh wait, is it? Actually... So the comment is... It's po so this is by Hamad Mehta. He's saying it's possible that like in Cartman's ginger cow... See, this is referring to the <laughs> South Park episode. Uh, this red heifer is a plant. There doesn't seem to be any more information on whether the heifer was genetically engineered and the Temple Institute was seeking funding for such an endeavor as recently as August of 2015. Okay, this is actually a very genius con if this is genetically made to be read and they're just getting, the Temple is just getting donations out of it. That's amazing. This is like the South Park episode more, more it follows that episode more closely than I thought. It's amazing. Okay, um, see, this is why we have a good community to fill in the information that I that I ha don't have. So Ant is saying, was it Red Heifer mother not born in Israel? If she was imported, uh, then it doesn't count because they. Uh, I don't know if okay. I don't know what the prophecy specifically says. Does a pro, does a cow have to be born in Israel? Anyways, I think we gave this more time than it deserved. Does it say that the sect of Judaism did this? What sect of Judaism did this? I don't know. Is it important? Hmm. The Temple Institute. What is the Temple Institute? 
just seems so barbar you know ancient it makes me feel like you why don't you go why don't you guys go all the way and just like make a fire in a cave and just go around it making noises uh okay it was born in israel uh, Jewish prophecy. No, it just said the Temple Institute. So you could look up the Temple Institute. The Temple Institute is a Hebrew as Machon Mahab. I, I don't know. I'm not going to even try. Atheist Republic's mission is to give atheists around the world a louder voice. In order for us to be able to continue the Atheist Republic, we need your help. If we reach 100 patrons, we'll finally be able to afford all our costs. Help us get there.